Hey guys, this is Seth again. Um, in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to create a free virtual bookshelf. Let's say you're looking for a tool to uh, catalog your own personal library. A lot of people use Goodreads. Um, there's another website out there, and this one is run by Amazon. It's called Shelfari.com. If you haven't heard of Shelfari, um, it's it, it functions a lot like Goodreads in that it is a uh, social media site. Uh, for book lovers, um, it's possible by signing on and you would use the same credentials uh, as you would for Amazon. It, it's possible to um, catalog your books here, uh, to create shelves of books. Um, I've already signed into my account here. Uh, it's free to set up one. I'm just going to show you how this works. Uh, let's say you are searching for a book and you want to add it to your shelf. And uh, this is really good as well if you're in a small library and let's say you want to highlight the new acquisitions in your library, uh, you can actually create a virtual shelf and you can get the code and you can embed it in a website. All right. So I'm going to search for books on one of my favorite topics, educational technology. I'm going to press search. Okay. I've already added these books here, uh, but when I searched, I get all of the books um, and this list obviously comes from Amazon. I can click on add all right and uh, I can choose if I if I want to read this in the future let's say I plan to read this um, if I've already read it I can write a review and it will show up on this website. Uh, you can also share it with people so you can share this book from Shelfari on Twitter and Facebook uh, under book extras um, you can um, add information about the book, uh, description of the book, and under tags and more, this is really helpful uh, when you're setting up your shelf. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I will choose a, a tag to add to it, and I'm going to call this EdTech, and press Done. And let me actually go back to this. Under the tags and more, I see suggested tags and I see my tags. Let's say you're creating um, a bookshelf and you want to highlight new books. You may want to use new or new books as a tag and just tag all of the new books that you have. Okay. All right. So that's how you add it. And you see there's a, a options here as well. You know, once you've read the book, like if you're using this for your personal cataloging and, you know, uh, keeping up with your own personal reading. You can change the status from plan to read to read it now. All right. Um, going back to the home page, you'll notice uh, on the right hand side here, under your content, there is a link to widgets. Okay, and widgets is where you go to create uh, the virtual bookshelf. All right. So I have code here from widgets that I've created in the past. I'm going to scroll down and click on create a new widget. Okay, and then I can choose if I'm using a blogging software, Blogger, TypePad, or WordPress. Um, I can select these, and it gives me code that works really well with these three uh, blogging platforms. Um, I'm going to use in this case JavaScript. So make sure whatever uh, web content management system you're using that it works with JavaScript or Flash. Um, JavaScript I think has more options, so I'm going to click on JavaScript. Okay. And now it says to choose your books. So I could either create one of my uh, the books that I've read, the books that I'm going to read, or I can use one of the tags. And like this would come in handy uh, with new books. You know, if you used a new book tag, you could select that tag. I'm going to create a shelf just on the books that I've tagged as EdTech. And press continue. All right, and it shows me a preview of the widget here. And I can choose the color of the shelf. I can choose um, this nice cherry color. All right, and you see what it looks like there. Uh, you can choose a black shelf or this more oak color. All right, uh, you can choose the width of the shelf. So let's say I want it to be uh, 300 pixels wide. I can choose that. And I can also choose the number of rows that I want displayed. So I'm just going to make this three rows. All right. And then I can.
can choose um, date added and so forth. Okay. Under additional content, uh, you can click on show pop-up when mouse is over the book image. So in other words, when you hover your mouse over the book, that you get this pop-up here with a description from Amazon. Uh, you can, if you have friends who use Shofari, they can add it to their shelves. Or if they click on the book, it'll open up the book's record in Amazon. All right, so when I've created all of that, I'm gonna press continue. Okay, and then I get uh, the widget code here. I'm gonna copy the widget code, and I'm gonna go to my content management system. In this case, I'm using Weebly, uh, which is a really a, a great place to build a free website. Um, I have opened up a page here, and in the editing screen on the left-hand side, there's a link that says embed code. I'm gonna pull this over here since I have code that I'm gonna put in. And I'm going to paste the uh, code. All right, and now I'm gonna press publish. Okay. And now I'm gonna open up that page and it takes a while to load, but you see here I've got my uh, Shafari book list. So again, this is really helpful if you want to display your new books. Um, if you're an avid reader and you want to display the books that you um, have read or are reading on your blog, um, it's a great place to go. So I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.